This video is sponsored by Tupelo Designs LLC where U.S. shipping is always free with no minimum purchase and international shipping is discounted. They are also home of the daily deal so be sure to check that out and sign up for their reward program. For today's project I am going to make a pencil case. And that is a piece of cotton fabric and it's ten and a half by nine and a half and I have a bottle of alcohol and I'm going to spray that fabric on there. That fabric has been washed and dried. It's a bit wrinkly but it doesn't matter. And I'm actually going to stamp on this pencil case also. And I have some alcohol ink and when I link to these products, uh, the alcohol ink, I will link to the main uh, page where there is the most alcohol ink because I'm using several colors. And I'm just dropping this onto that uh, alcohol moistened cotton fabric. And I'm going to use several colors. And once I get that all dropped on, I am going to spray it with some more uh, alcohol. And once I get all that alcohol ink on there, I have a glass bowl and I'm going to squirt some more uh, um, alcohol in there. And this is rubbing alcohol, not drinking alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And that's 91% uh, rubbing alcohol. And then I'm going to take uh, the, the fabric that I've dotted with alcohol uh, ink and I'm going to just swish it around in there. Because I, I want it to blend better, it, you know, when you drop it on there it doesn't really blend. So I'm going to squish that all around until I get it blended the way I want. And then I will actually rinse it under water. And once I rinse it under the water, I'm going to roll it up in a towel to kind of squeeze dry it. And that way it gets rid of some of the excess ink also. So I will just lay it in a towel and I will give it a couple of good squeezes. And don't use a good towel, use an old towel. And now that I got it the way I want it, I am going to actually throw this in the dryer and then I will iron it. I have some white gesso and I'm actually smearing that on with my fingers and I'm putting it up towards the top and uh, to the left because I know where I'm going to sew my zipper so I want to have an uh, area to stamp my stamp because it works better when uh, it's on a kind of a crisp surf surface and not a fabric surface. I think it works better. So I'm going to spread that gesso around and then I will take some dilutions uh, pink paint and I will do the same. I will smear that on also. And once that pink paint paint is pretty much dry. I'm going to take this Prima Princess's stamp set and uh, her name is Charlotte and I'm going to take a foam brush and I am going to brush on some uh, dark blue dilutions paint and then I will stamp it onto that pink part of the fabric. The stamping turned out pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is a mixed media type project. And now I'm going to let that dry. And now it's time to make this into a pencil case. And I have a pink zipper. And I'm going to sandwich that pink zipper and my mixed media uh, fabric there in between uh, the fabric, the cotton fabric, and some PUL. Now I have an a detailed uh, video of how to sew this and it's actually for sandwich bags reusable sandwich bags but it's the same way just uh, that this fabric is bigger 
So I will link that down below in case you need detailed um, instructions. And I'm going to just uh, top stitch or straight stitch, sorry, straight stitch the zipper into those two layers and then I will flip it over and I will uh, sandwich that zipper in between the two layers again on the other side. And remember I have a detailed video on how to do this and uh, I will link that down below and it will also be in the end screen at this end of this video so you can uh, click on it and watch that detailed sewing video. And there we go, the pencil case is finished and it turned out super cute. I always say super cute, <laughs> but it's a perfect pencil case. And the inside is moisture proof. So that means like if I wanted to put like a, a wet um, colored pencil in there, a watercolor brush or something like that, I could put that in that bag and uh, super cute. I just can't believe how cute it turned out. But again, I have detailed instructions on how to sew this type of bag, but it's in another video and I will link that down below and I will also have an end card you can click on. And pens and pencils fit in here perfect. There's, there's plenty of room and you could put a lot of pens or pencils in there. It's nice and spacious. And I will have uh, links to the products that I used and they will all be listed down below. And I've made it easy for you to subscribe to my channel. You just can click on my avatar or my profile picture. And I will have that end card of that other video to the left and another interesting video. So thanks for watching. Bye.